formula I've heard that empirical formula exactly approximates the data percentage within a certain range and that is the reason it is also called 6895 99.7 or 3 sigma rule but have you ever wondered from where these exact values have come or in other words have you ever wondered how does empirical formula approximates the exact data percentage within a range is not it surprising well, in today's video, we are going to see exactly this. If you haven't watched our probability density functions video, please go ahead and watch that. The link is given in the description because in today's video, we are going to refer probability density function. Let's go ahead and see what empirical rule or empirical formula states. Empirical rule or three sigma rule states that 68% of the data falls within the first standard deviation. So this range, okay. 95% within first two standard deviation on both sides. Okay, so that is this range of data. Similarly, 99.7 within the first three standard deviation. Okay, that is this range of data. So now, how, how did actually we arrive on the exact percentage of the data okay now if you remember from our PDF video we said that every distribution has a defined probability density function of it okay for normal distribution the probability density function PDF of a normal distribution is given as 1 by Sigma under root of 2 pi into e raised to power minus 1 by 2 into x minus mu by sigma square okay so this is the pdf and to taking the reference from my pdf video what we have said that if we have to you know calculate the probability or percentage of data within a limit so what we will do we will have to take the integration okay so integration from a particular range to that particular range okay say for example if i have to calculate what percentage of data lies within this particular range okay so this particular range if I have to give it can be anything like from 1 2 3 okay so but in terms of mean I can denote it as mu minus Sigma which is mean minus Sigma or mean plus Sigma okay please note that mean and Sigma that is also a numeric value okay so it will also be there okay so say for example then if i have to calculate the percentage of data within a particular range i would just integrate this particular pdf function and will just put the range from a particular range to a particular range okay so for example if i have to calculate the percentage of data from mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma where mu is my mean equation is same and the lower limit is mu minus sigma and the upper limit is mu plus sigma okay so this is our percentage of data for one standard deviation on both sides okay so if if we calculate this we will get 0 0.68 or 68 percent okay similarly if i have to see for two standard deviation what i'll do is i'll calculate our lower limit would be mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma and if I integrate the same function within this these limits okay we'll get 0 0.95 or 95 percent okay and similarly if we have to see for three standard deviation on both sides we can integrate the equation within the limits of mu minus 3 sigma to mu plus 3 sigma and we see that the result comes out to be 0 0.997 or 99.7 percent okay and this is how empirical rule is giving the exact percentage of the data within a certain range so to summarize within one standard deviation it is 68 percent which is the integration of mu minus sigma up till mu plus sigma within two standard deviation on the both side it is mu minus 2 sigma to mu plus 2 sigma integration of the same function which came out to be 95 percent and within three standard deviation on the both side which is mu minus three sigma to mu plus three sigma 
integration of the same function it came out to be 0.997 which is also equal to 99.7 let's see if it is correct okay so let's find out the integration for one standard deviation on both sides so for one standard deviation as i have stated earlier the lower limit would be mu minus sigma to mu plus sigma so we will integrate for these limits okay now just for simplification i am assuming the mean to be 0 and standard deviation to be 1 okay which uh, also happens to be standard normal distribution okay but please note that this equation holds true for any value not just for these special cases but for any given value of mu and sigma if it is normally distributed that means this will give around 68 percent of the data okay if i have assumed the mean to be zero and standard deviation to be one this equation turned out to be mu minus sigma mu is zero and sigma is one so this is minus one and this would turn out to be plus one okay and sigma is one so one upon under root of two pi into e raised to power minus one by two x square okay mu is zero sigma is one so x square okay or we can say e raised to power minus x square by two okay both the things are same okay now if i go ahead and simplify this this should give me what around 0 0.68 right so this is what we have said now in order to solve this so we will be using integral calculator.com this is a website which will help you in these type of problem so let us write our equation okay and now i have to give the upper and the lower limit so here we can give upper bound as one lower bound as minus one and we have to tick this particular box which says integrate numerically only okay now we'll click on go okay the equation looks fine we'll click on go okay now it is calculating the result now you can see here the result came out as 0 0.6826 which is approximately 68 percent so if we go ahead and change the limit to minus 2 to 2 okay you see it is around 95 percent okay which matches our expectation okay similarly if i do it for minus 3 2 3 okay for the same equation you will see it came out as 99.7 okay which is exactly matching what we have studied okay so now let's write down the result it came out as 0 0.68 around approximately which is also equal to 68 percent okay similarly from minus 2 to 2 it came out as 0 0.95 or 95 percent okay similarly for minus 3 to 3 99.7 percent or 0 0.997 okay so it says 68 percent of the data within first standard deviation 95 percent of the data within two standard deviation and 99.7 percent of the data within three standard deviation hence proved so we have just proved how these values have arrived from probability density function concept Thank you. See you in another video.